Bertrand du Guesclin was a French military commander in the 14th century during the Hundred Years' War between France and England. He was born in 1320 in Brittany, France, and grew up in a noble family. At the beginning of his career, du Guesclin served under Charles de Blois, the cousin of King Philippe VI of France, in the War of Succession in Brittany from 1341 to 1364. Du Guesclin succeeded in defeating the English army at the Battle of La Roche d'Arion in 1347, and he later became a military commander under King Charles V of France. Du Guesclin was known as a very brave and skilled leader in battle. In 1364, he led the French forces in the Battle of Cotterill, where he successfully defeated a much larger English army. The Battle of Cotterill took place on May 16, 1364, in Cotterill, France, during the Hundred Years' War between France and England. The French forces, led by Bertrand du Guesclin, along with Charles de Blois and Olivier de Clisson, faced the English forces led by Sir John Chandos. Despite being outnumbered, the French forces won the battle. Du Guesclin used clever tactics and managed to deceive the English forces into being trapped in the middle of the open field and separated from each other. This allowed the French forces to attack the English forces gradually and win the battle. The Battle of Cotterill was an important victory for the French forces and helped to strengthen the position of King Charles V in France. This victory also strengthened the position of Bertrand du Guesclin as a prominent military commander and helped to establish his reputation as a skilled and brave general in facing the English forces. After the Battle of Cotterill, du Guesclin was given the title of Constable of France, making him the highest military commander in France. He continued to lead the French forces in battles against the English and successfully captured several important cities, including Rennes in 1356 and Montmurin in 1373. However, du Guesclin was not always successful. In the Battle of Nahara in 1367, he led the French forces that were defeated by the English. However, this failure did not diminish his popularity among the French people. Du Guesclin died in 1380 while leading the French forces in the siege of the city of Chateauneuf-Durandon in southern France. Although he had passed away, his name remained a symbol of bravery and leadership in French history. One moral message that can be drawn from Bertrand du Guesclin is the determination and unwavering spirit in facing obstacles. In his career as a military commander, du Guesclin faced various challenges and failures, such as when he suffered a defeat in the Battle of Navarrete in 1367. However, he did not give up and continued to fight, which ultimately led him to achieve many important victories. Furthermore, Bertrand du Guesclin is also known as a leader who firmly holds the values of justice and integrity. He always tried to treat his soldiers and enemies fairly, and refused to enrich himself through dishonest means. This can be seen from his attitude when he won the victory in the Battle of Cotterill, where he treated English prisoners well and showed them compassion. Therefore, the moral message that can be drawn from Bertrand du Guesclin is that determination, unwavering spirit, and values of justice and integrity can help someone achieve success in life, both in the military and in other fields.